Hello all, hope you are all doing good and staying safe. Welcome back to Zareen's Art. Today I'm going to take you all through a quick tour of my small working space. So this is how it looks. So let's get into the details of it. So this is a small, uh, I'm sorry, not a small one, a wooden wall clock that has been hand painted by me. So this is done around like say three years back be not varnished or given any coating but still it looks intact still and you can see all the intricate details done on it so this is done by me of course then we have this this calendar which is very much essential for marking all your appointments and uh, you know all other important things that you have to do so another essential thing on the desk then of course my art essentials like a geometry box then my utmost favorite thing for journaling a glass dip pen so I in love with these you know pens and then of course the pearlescent colors that I use for my metallic no paints then of course the Sennelier watercolors which are my at most favorite ones when I do watercolors then these are a set of you know tiles that I sourced out from a local artisan just for decorative purpose then these are few dip pennings that I use and it comes in different colors so I mostly use them in journaling then some lovely coasters hand design coasters and this coconut shell has all tiny tic tacs in it like um, magnets you know paper clips you know other small clips inside it so i'm a very very uh, eco-friendly i love eco-friendly products and everything that is earthy and brown in nature so that is why I keep all these things with me and uh, the most essential thing on my desk is of course my water bottle I cannot start working without my water bottle on my desk and another essential thing on my desk is my focus light so without which I definitely cannot work on anything so my focus light is my next next essential thing that has to be there on my desk and moving on to this space is my journals where I keep my journals and notebooks so all these are my daily references so there are even more journals and notebooks that are there in a separate section so these are my daily essentials so this is something which I use every day my daily motivator it has all these inspirational quotes in it so this is something very much essential for me in everyday basis the next thing is this grid journal that I use for you know hosting my courses so I do all these man I have done all these mandalas alongside my students so I use this journal even for you know demonstrating them about patterns and everything else so this these two are pretty much very much important for me and uh, then it has uh, all other different you know notebooks and journals alongside here of course these are my books that I use for quick references and of course all other different you know vintage journals that I have done then this is a mug uh, this again hand painted by me which holds all different pens that I use on daily basis then moving on to the compartment next compartment this has everything that I use for coloring but I don't use them often but I still have it by my side so all these color pens and watercolor and something very essential for me is these unipin fine liner pens so this is what I use always and uh, of course a small hand painted box which has okay done by me which has all these uh, 
lovely paper clips and other small tiny things that I use for my journaling. So this is pretty much the upper part. So below that comes all these uh, bigger sketchbooks. So I have this pouch where I keep all my essential art supplies. So when I host my course, I quickly take this pouch inside which I have my uh, all my art essentials there. Then uh, all my books, which uh, I use it for drawings. And then of course, um, a watercolor brush, you know, I keep all my watercolor brushes. I keep all my brushes that I use for my watercolors in this pouch. And then below this is a space where I keep all my bigger sketchbooks and my files. So inside this file is again all the reference sheets that I use for my course as well as my own materials with hand drawn uh, drawings inside it. And then my bigger sketchbooks like you know the black sketchbook and uh, the khadi paper sketchbook that i use for watercolors as well so this is it moving on to this space is something very very personal to me and very close to me because here i have all my um, pictures of all my family members so i believe family is something that is very important to move ahead in life and they are your first motivators i do not know about others but for me my family has been a very great support and a very great you know motivation so this is my father so he has been a very great motivator and a great source of encouragement for me in every step I take. Then um, this is my family. Of course, that's me with my husband and my three kids and a small hand-drawn mandala done by me. And uh, again, a family picture of mine along with my kids and again, a family picture. So in this space, you can see a small uh, canvas. So that's again a hand-drawn mandala there. Below that is a board which I use for demonstrating colors and patterns to my students. So that is that's what I use. Then a small space here next to my desk. So this is a wooden desk which is again hand painted by me so a small wooden desk hand painted by me on which you have a small hand painted mandala there and of course a small you know table lamp there and so this is pretty much how my workspace looks like so of course on the wall is my wall calendar and a paper cut mandala done by me. So this is how my workspace looks like. I hope you all like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.